Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day here in the mountains of southern Appalachia. We've got a big day planned. We're going to try to plant our tomatoes and our peppers today and maybe some other things too. We're, we kind of feel like we're behind with the weather and then with Miss Cindy with all the things we've been having to do to take care of her. So we're going to try to get them planted. Today is not the best day to plant if you follow the signs like we do. But we're kind of, uh, I guess, up against the wall between a rock and a hard place and we're just going to have to plant. We're just going to have to. The peppers and the tomatoes have been in the greenhouse for so long. They're getting so big. I know their roots, they're still just in the solo cups. I know their roots are getting bound up. Uh, the peppers are already producing, which is crazy. We've never had that inside the greenhouse. So we're just going to have to have to do it and hope for the best. Corey's here today, so she's going to help. Katie's here. I'm not sure what she's, she's been gone out of town, so she's just getting back home today. I don't know what she's got going on, if she'll be able to help or not. But Matt took off work, so that's our big, big push. We're going to try to get it done. I think I'm just going to start carrying tomatoes outside so we can start sorting through them. The majority of them will be planted up here. They're ours, but we will share with Granny and with uh, Corey. And then if there's any left over, I usually share with some friends uh, or my cousin or someone like that. So that'll be our first priority is just getting them out. And then we'll start on the peppers. So now that we've got them all carried outside, we're going to have to sort through them and see which ones go where. We usually put our, I guess so we're gonna do the same thing this year, probably. We put our, our favorites, our Cherokee purple, in the bed that's kind of parallel with the greenhouse. Is that what you wanna do? You the boss. Yeah. I'll do whatever you say. Usually we put our Tommy toes in this little bed right here. What do we put down there? Mountain Princess and yeah, I don't remember. Arkansas Traveler. But we have some new ones this year that we wanna try. We have a major mistake, which is not really a mistake, but we won't know. The ones from Satterfields, we didn't get the little thing that goes with them. I think, I'll have to ask Corey, but I'm pretty sure all the ones we bought from there were Tommy Toes too. Maybe Corey will remember, but she may not. I could go back and watch the video probably and see what little Quincy sold me. He was, he was such a good salesman. Either way though, I know we're gonna love them. And then we have some new ones too that we got when we visited Debbie at uh, Bryson Farm Supply. So we're, we're excited to try those too. I know, they're so <laughs> big. I mean, how? what's the biggest one? Uh, high thumb. Yeah. Third, third. Those over there is like. They're like uh, 20, 22 inches tall yeah, already. They're they, huge. They need to be, should have been in the ground, but it's the best we can do this year. It's the best we can do, yeah. It'll work out. Yeah. I think too, though it just they just grew really well this year's part of it because we're not that late. No, it's not like it's the end of May. We're not that late. I think I you think just they, started early. Well, <laughs> I may have started early. I may yeah. start too early, but I think we just had really good germination and really good growth too. So now Corey's back. She's went to get me some uh, lemon. What do you call that? Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus spray. See if it'll ward off the bugs here. We're going to start sorting them out and see what we've got. It's hot out here. I'm hot already. Yeah. Enjoy it for the next four months. I said, is it bad that I'm already tired and we've not even started yet? Oh. That'll be handy. Thank you. Turn the thing off of Our early Mother's Day present, huh? It'll be handy today. Yeah. You don't have to get your knees wet. And I was about to get down on my knees and Matt brought me an early Mother's Day present. How nice. Very nice. It's soft too. Especially since it's wet, it'd be perfect for today. I didn't care. I was. Just, this is nicer, but I was just going to kneel down and get my pants wet. But it's good on your knees too. It's yeah, soft. it feels good. Black cherry. So that's a. Tell me how many, or I'll use this one for the. That black cherry's a little bitty one. It didn't get as big somehow. The others See, we, shaded it out. We need some Epsom salt too, right? Yeah. So this one, I may be moving all these for nothing. These maybe there's some weeds we're growing. Those were all black cherries, looks like. That's a lot of black cherries. We probably planted some for me too. Yeah, some of them are yours. This says Cherokee, so that's it. Okay, looks nice and healthy. Okay. 
And if you're wondering, you're like, she's just throwing them around, not being real careful for them or careful with them. When we plant tomatoes, we plant them really deep. So a lot of this bottom part we'll put under the ground actually. And you can see, I don't know if you can see really, this one's got a great example. See all those little, little hair like places? Those will just turn into roots and they'll just root once they're covered in soil. So if we plant it about that deep. So that's one reason I'm not being more careful. Once we get them situated, Corey, maybe you could uh, get you some to take home. I'm yeah. gonna set that one. I'm gonna set, start a pile for granny too. That's a good kind of sturdy one there for granny. You wanna start you a pile? Yeah. It's a Cherokee purple. Ooh. Put it by the potato. As we do this every year, then you always find the ones that nothing happens. So this was one of Corey's. I think this was supposed to be a flower. Orange something. Oh yeah, yeah. that was gone so We just empty them and try again next year. That's that okay. One. So that's one. Cream and sausage, that's kind of a uh, little one. That one needs to be watered. They drink so much water and then here's some water to water it. This is one that Katie turned over. Look down and now you can see, here's a perfect example. This is a, a cup that Katie accidentally turned over and then just put the seed. She didn't know which side of the dump was the seed. So we just left it and it did grow, but you can see all those roots. Ain't that amazing? So those are, that's where all those little hairs were. But in this one, every time I watered it, it's just basically been sitting in water. I don't know what kind this is. 1900? I have no memory of that. Do you? No, but when I rewrote it on that cup from the other cup that it fell out of, that's what the original cup said. 1900. Yeah. Would that have been one from Debbie? I don't know. Maybe, maybe so. so we'll... Dad said it was an old one yeah. from 1900. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get that on the ground. We're going to have to go back. <laughs> maybe it is because it's right beside Caney Fork, and this one was from Debbie. Look how pretty that looks. I can't wait to try that one. So this is gonna be our, I need to have a pile for our experimental over there in the grow bags and this one too. We wanted to go back and see Debbie once the greenhouse got opened, but again, we just had to do what we can do. Okay, this is one that a subscriber sent us from Donald. So we're gonna try that one as an experimental one. We need to make our little, get our little things and make sure we remember what they are. Corey, you gotta help me with that. Yeah, I will. This is David and Caroline's favorite. Oh, Francis, okay, I'm gonna put all these back in here. These all go down yonder. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right, it's okay. <laughs> Dad is struggling. Them. Here's two more of the bit and grows. Blueberry, I think that's Corey's. I think that might actually be, might be one of yours. Oh, is it? Okay. I thought you was. I think I planted one called Blue Cream Berry. Bumblebee? But we had a blueberry. I don't so. know. I, it's hard for me to remember now. Yeah, I, I see the blue true. cream over there in mm -hmm. that big plastic okay. container. And these, Corey, you're gonna have to help me remember from the Satterfields. Did we only get Tommy Toes? Yeah, but I don't know what any of them no, are. We don't know either. We're gonna one of them is that I mean, like one of them is like the yellow stripy one that she said was a really old tomato. I know that for a fact. And that one was not a Tommy toe. That was a big one. Correct. Yeah. And that's the only one I remember. So we're just gonna be surprised. Okay. Maybe a teeny toe. A teeny toe. Huh? Teeny toe. Teeny toe. Oh, a teeny toe. Yeah. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, that one was. That one got shaded out. I don't know about it. Mexican midget. That was one of mine. Okay. I think. You want a Juliet? What's it like? This is a kind of a, it's a Tommy toe, but more like a shape, like a long pear shape. They dry well. They dry okay. really well. Yeah. You know, the ones that you eat in there that's dried? Yeah. Like mean, that's thin. Oh. All right. You want to start with the Cherokee purple? Let's get it. Okay. Okay. Matt's dug the hole for us. Now, several years ago, I mean many years ago, probably 10 years ago or something, someone told us that if you put Epsom salt in the bottom of the hole, 
that it helps. So we put a handful that it helps tomatoes. So we put a handful. I don't know all the science behind that. People ask me, you can read about it. There's all kinds of stuff online if you research. And there's people that think it works and there's people that think it's a bunch of hooey. But why me and Matt do it is because every since that person, and I can't even remember who it was that told us that, but ever since then we've had great tomatoes. So we're like, well, we keep, we got to do it the same way every year, you know? So we just keep putting a handful of Epsom salt. You can do a lot of research and find out if that's something you want to try or not try. I'm also going to put some of our, some of our compost down in there. So then when it comes to, to planting them, there's like a little weird something that's growing in there. It kind of looks like a, might be a uh, calendula. You can see there's the roots that are just winding around trying to find a place. So I will kind of break those up like that, put it down in there, and then we really try to bury it deep. Again, so all those little hairs can, can grow and turn into roots. And it's almost big enough to, we'll start pinning them to this or hooking them to it with these little hooks that we use. It's not quite large enough yet. And even if it flops over in the next few days, it'll straighten up on its own. And that's how we do it. There's all kinds of, um, especially on YouTube, you do a search, you're gonna find all kinds of ways of people advising you how to do tomatoes. And so you feel free to, to find another way <laughs> or to do your research and pick a, something from this person and something from that person. But this is what Matt and I do and it it's works very well for us. There's a, you see your soil's healthy. There's a worm right here on this side. I noticed that's a, some of my Malabar spinach coming up sprouted right there. So I'll just leave it right where it's at. So we were able to get almost all the tomatoes planted. We still have a few that we'll have to figure out where to put them, whether we're gonna put them in probably one of the new beds on the bank, but most of them are in the ground and that feels so good, feels so good. We'll have to go back and water all of them. The ground's pretty moist though, so we didn't, we'll probably wait till later this evening to, to water. Matt thought it may rain, so if it rains, that'll do the watering, watering for us. Now we're gonna start on the peppers. And because they were so tall, because we had had them in the greenhouse for so long, some of them have kind of fell over, but they'll, in a day or two, they'll straighten right back up and they'll be just fine. So Matt's starting on where we're gonna plant the peppers. I was pointing out the things I wanted him to leave alone, which was the nasturtiums in all the corners. And then in this corner of the bed, actually both of them, we have a little Tommy toad that just sows itself, reseeds itself every year. I think the it's Matt's Cherry is the name of it. It may be Matt's Sweet Cherry, but it's teeny tiny, but really sweet and really good. We don't, well, I only planted them one time and ever since then they just kind of reseed their cell. So I was telling him, leave, a, leave at least one or two of them so we can enjoy those again this year. Now I'm gonna get Corey to help me get the peppers out. And we'll have to sort them out kind of like we did the tomatoes. This is a YOLO, like a, kind of like a green pepper. See. This is a California one, so that's another green one. Orange, that's mine, I think. That's one of Corey's. Look at the peppers. Look at that. Ain't that great? Wow. We've never had peppers do that good this early, so that's Corey's. I'll let her. Carolina. I think that was a. That was like a green a red. pepper too, a red, but I mean that shape, like yeah. a bell pepper. Yeah. yeah. So was that yours? I think so, okay. I had a, but if I have extras, you're okay, welcome sure. to some. There's a cayenne, Matt likes the cayenne. Carolina Wonder. So there's two of them. So I'll take one of those. If you 
See yeah. how many more you got. Uh, Golden Marconi. I really like those. They get the, they're the long, but they're still a sweet pepper. What, like a, what would you say that is, that shape? Long pepper. Yeah, pepper if shape. you have an extra one of those, I want one. Yeah. Violet Sparkle, look at those. Wow, so I've already got two Violet Sparkle if you want that one. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's a sweet one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not hot. Not hot. Okay. I don't like hot, so I didn't grow hot. Golden Marconi, you want one of those? Yeah. This is the shape I was trying to put that it much long better. Shape. Yeah, much bigger eventually. So this one is a candy cane pepper. So it's a sweet pepper too, and it gets kind of variegated. A subscriber shared that with us last year, and we really loved it, really liked it. King of the North. That's a red one that's supposed to be good for heat that I that you got. planted, okay. but if I got another one, I okay. should take one too. Shishito, so prolific for us, and that's about the shape of them. You can see just a little bit bigger than that. I'm, I'm running out of room. Yeah. Matt's probably saying you're going to run out of room over here too. It's going to run out of time. Yeah. Is that an orange? Yeah. Do you want Do you want that one? Because I've already got an orange. If you don't, sure. Some of these we could share with Granny too. Yeah. Um, violet sparkle. Oh, and there's the violets. You can see. Look at that pretty yeah. color. Purple beauty. Was that yours too? Yeah, I yeah. forgot. That's supposed to be a, I think it's more, well, it don't look like a bell shape, but I thought it was supposed to be more of a bell shape, but purple. Huh. Well, you better so, take one. I don't know about that. That's odd. Maybe that really is simply a violet sparkle and we just named it wrong because I could have swore could there. Could be. Could be. We're bell shaped. Okay, I think that's all the varieties. Now we just got to get them planted. There's another purple beauty though, says. So maybe uh, they do get purple as they. I don't know. Seems like ages ago since we planted them, Corey. I don't even hardly remember. Me and it. Corey both have to go back and watch the video. This yeah. is a shishito. That's a big shishito. Yeah. These are looking pitiful. I hope they come back out. Look at that little little one. We're still gonna try. Poor thing. It had a bloom. See, it's that one was so tiny it got down in there and stayed damp, it looks like, but maybe that'll help it. Maybe it'll come back out. Actually, thought. the caterpillar is going to be on either side of it anyway. Okay, good. I'll just leave this one. These are some of the marigolds we got at the Satterfields, and they're been poor little things, been in there all this time. But marigolds are pretty hardy. You see a little tomato plant right there. That's just grass. Some more grass, some more grass. We're at Granny's house and Mama's planting onion buttons. Should have already had them planted weeks ago, but better late than never. Better late than never. That's the last one. Trying to beat the rain. Dad's over here doing the tomatoes.
Feist and good, huh? Or we could come over and do a cameo in one of your videos and do a popsicle chat. Two days in a row of popsicles, I'm doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. you, if you work at this house, you get, that's your uh, reward, is what I'm trying to say. If you work at this house, your reward is a popsicle. I can handle that. Your payment. I like that. I look at how dirty my hands are makes me question whether or not it's a good thing I'm not holding it whether or not I should be eating with them they're pretty dirty I'm gonna hurt you. Mm -mm. help my gut what do you call it bomb <laughs> microbiome microbiome maybe Add some bacteria to it you're gonna get your mouth full of chicken a lot that'll fix you mm. that's disgusting <laughs> I'm tired we got a lot done though. I'm ready to go again. You ready to go again? Yeah. Well, we Let's don't go have again. to stop. We can. Just how many hours of daylight left? Four, five. About four and a half. I'm gonna go home and try to plant at my house. That's all your gum right there. All Corey's to take home. Well, those on this side, your daddy's gonna take to work. But. Got all the peppers and the tomatoes planted. All the ones we're gonna plant. Corey's gonna take some home. We even got to go down, went, made it down at Granny's too. I was amazed that we got to do that. Started raining and we were like, just hurry up and go do it. Just have hers done. We hadn't even planted her onions yet this year. We were way behind on that, weren't we? Yeah, way behind. But we went down there and planted them and then by the time we come up here, back up here, it quit raining. So. The sun came out. Uh-huh. That's hot. Mm -hmm. We got, I think we got all the marigolds planted, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Except the ones Corey's going to take home. We didn't get the herbs planted. That's the only thing left in the greenhouse now. And two little tomato plants that a subscriber sent us the seeds late. So they're just about that big. Not those big gangly ones. Where are you going to put them? I don't know. It's a good question. You could put them in a bed up on the bank or I've got several grow bags still. We might put them just in a grow bag if you think that's all right. I'm up for whatever you're going to do, Miss Lady. Mm -hmm. Granny's excited that we finally got something done down there. <laughs> and then she, after we got back up here and we were planting the marigolds, she called me and said, I just wanted to ask you, would you care if I take a hoe out there and just scratch out some places and plant some beans? I said, you better wait on wait on us to help you with that. I said, well, all right, I will. Maybe we can do that one evening this week. Yeah, yeah. Plant our beans. And plant ours too. Mm-hmm. Whenever, whenever it's a good planting day. Well, the best planting day, we have to wait about a week and a half. I don't know if we'll do that. I think that, uh, I don't think it makes that much difference because once it heats up and, and the ground gets warm, I believe it, it, it'll catch up anyway. I mean, the seeds, you know, it don't germinate and go real good till the ground's right temperature anyway. And by then it probably will be, so I think it'll take off quick enough to where it would've caught up to if we'd already had it done anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do it as an experiment and see. Yeah. The beans need full sun. Yeah. We've got a lot of new varieties, old old new varieties of beans and peas from Debbie at Bryson Farm Supply. We're so excited to try them. Really excited. Remember those peas, those big mm -hmm. uh, butter beans, we would call them. Lima beans, some people call them. And there was peas. I'm dripping. I'm about to say you're putting mm -hmm. it on yourself. Go mm -hmm. work. Miss, she's already eat all her. I know. I'm not done with that. Corey ain't fooling around. I'm not talking. Today. Talking and Corey's. Uh oh. Heard a hawk. 
Yep. I hear it from a... When I saw that voice, I wanted Miss Cindy's too. I heard it before I seen it. It's making a lot of noise. Maybe they're following you. Hmm. I went in tractor supply earlier with Dad, and like I told you, I was walking kind of back through one of the aisles, and I've seen the fake owls that people put on you know I don't know wherever they put them and then I looked right next to it and there was a hawk and I was like oh my gosh the hawks even follow me into the store I, was, I wanted it I was temp real tempted to buy it got some coconut on you you was tempted to buy it oh I was I still hear that one. for Christmas Corey got hawk shirt hawk pictures we all got our hawk stuff I'm all about hawks. How'd you get to like an hawk? When I worked at William Holland over in Georgia, and I had to drive up there every day, that last field before you get with them side of hogs, it's, I noticed one time there was something real big on a power line, because it's just a big old power line in a real open field, and I noticed it, and I was like, oh, that's a big bird. And, and then I guess I realized it was a hawk and didn't think nothing of it. And, <coughs> and then occasionally I would see it and, you know, <coughs> look for it because I remembered that first time. And then I would see him on other power lines. And then I just kind of looked for him more. The more I looked, the more I saw him. And I just got kind of into it after yeah, that. Hawks. I just thought it was neat to see him. Sometimes I'd see two on a line together. Mm -hmm. And then I just started seeing him everywhere and got real mm -hmm. interested. I like crows. I'm not as crazy about crows as Corey is, but I like crows, even though they do a lot of damage to people's gardens. But um, several years ago, it's been a long time now, I did a whole series about crows on blind pig and the acorn. Some of it was other people's stories. A lot of people have pet crows or had pet crows, you know, when they were little. So stories like that. But kind of my culmination of the week, I took Steve's, what do you call it, crow machine? Because people do hunt crows. Crow there call. is a crow season that you can hunt crows. Just electronic crow call. Yeah, I took it up on the ridge and turned it on, just me with my camera, to see if, if I could call crows in and get, can't get any footage. And I actually videoed so many crows come. It was kind of weird. It was like a... I was sitting by a tree and they just started coming from, <laughs> and they're everywhere all That's over me. Funny. It's kind of like I was in a fairy tale or something. When was this? You remember it. It's because uh, this is part you'll remember. So anyway, it was great and I put that little, if I can find the video, I'll put it, put it in this video and you can see it. It's not very good. It was like with an old camera that I did it. But anyway. Like right after that, we were inside the house doing something and it sounded like somebody dropped something on the roof, just like literally banged on the tin and rolled down. It was during the day, you know. And I said, I wonder what that was. And Matt's like, well, I don't know. I wonder what that was. And I said, just being silly, I said, oh, maybe it was the crows and they're thanking me for uh, calling them, you know, and making the whole week about them. And Matt never missed a beat. He said, or maybe they're warning you to never do it again. <laughs> I, <don't remember> that. <laughs> yeah. I said, maybe. Maybe you're right. You know, I have one of those crow, crow calls. calls. Do you? Yeah. yeah. We should do it. Call them and see if we can get a video I mean, I've of got it. a mouth blown ones too, but I've got a, just an old electronic call with, you have to put the, the cards in. Mm -hmm. And one of them's a, or a couple of them's crow, different types of crow calls. Mm -hmm. and, I even set it up right here one time and just got a whole bunch of them yeah. right over our head here. Well, that's how when I went up on the ridge, that's what happened. Do they make hawk calls? Like whistles? Of, I don't know. Your daddy whistling earlier. That's what earlier I was going to say is dad, called one. I dad mean, can whistle and sometimes And they stop they and circle like, what's going on? I said, what was it I said? Corey thought it was funny. Uh... I said, oh, is that Cousin George? Oh, or yeah, Mom, Mom said, oh, is that Cousin Charles? Like the yeah, hawk Charles, was saying yeah, that. Yeah, Charles, yeah, like the hawk was saying, oh, is that Cousin Charles? Because Matt was whistling like a hawk down here. One of those calls that's on that thing is a, is a, a hawk 
and how hawks and crows will. Oh yeah, I've seen that. But it's a lot. got it's Scar. got the hawk call in it too. Oh, that's cool. I may have to forward that. It's a yeah. hawk and crow fight. I think it's called. <laughs> that's really cool. I think I've, I've got. I think it's in my. You know where my other hunting stuff is. I'll dig it out. Oh, that'd be cool. I've definitely seen them. I got to see a couple times crow fighting a hawk. I mean, trying to fight a hawk. It can't fight one, but it's cool. It's real past them. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand the hawk at any point could just reach out with the talons and just end the crow. <laughs> yeah. Why they don't? <laughs> I don't know. The crows, crows are mischievous. Kinda. They're smart. Yeah, they're they smart. are smart birds. They uh, eat out of me and Austin's scrap pile. I mean, I just throw food out and they eat out mm. of it. There was one hanging around here for a year or two, but I've not seen it. It would hang. I think it was eating It's stuff. been replaced by the woodpecker. Yeah. Have you seen the woodpecker? No, I hadn't seen it. Katie told me about it. I saw it yesterday. Mm. It leaves on you. No, I hadn't seen it. Is it staying back here in the backyard? Yeah, it stays mm. back here. And it, it's actually what's been tearing up your the border to your bed yeah. there, all the shrapnel of the wood. Yeah, Katie showed me that, said she heard <clears> something, she looked out the wind and is pecking at the, which they're about rotted away, but pecking at one of them. It's got bugs in it, I guess. Yeah, and it's after... probably eating the bugs. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Well, it's been a very nice day. We got a lot of stuff done, had beautiful weather other than a little spell of rain. Miss Cindy come over, uh, she'd actually, we went and got her this morning. She was visiting with Granny, but then she walked up and stayed with us out in the yard some. So it's a, turned out to be a nice day, very productive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what's next on the agenda? We got to get all the green beans planted, all the squash and cucumbers and melons and winter squash and mm -hmm. okra and I'm sure I'm forgetting some other stuff. When do mm -hmm. we plant pumpkins? You can plant them now. You could be safe. You have to plant them now. Do I have a place to plant pumpkins? Not really. You could plant them in one of your beds or your grow bags and let them just kind of wave out of it. You could actually probably, yeah, you could do that or you could down there in the end of your yard just put you out a pile of that compost and mulch mixed up together and plant them in it let them grow off down the lower end of the yard. Yeah. Yeah. They like sunshine if you've got some sunshine down there. I'd love to grow pumpkins. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I have a very important question. What? What's for supper? What's for supper? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have nothing. We're too tired to We're going to have to have leftovers or eggs. eggs. And That'd be alright. We've got leftover steak. We could have steak and eggs and toast. Steak and eggs is good. Man. Yeah. I got some ham. We could have ham and eggs and toast. Yeah, I don't care what we eat. I'm just aggravating. Yeah. You don't have to cook me nothing. <clears throat> cook you something. I'm like a coyote. I'll find me something to eat. <laughs> Scrambled eggies. That's yeah. what Katie calls them. Scrambled eggies. Egg boys. <laughs> egg boys. A foldy. Scrambled egg foldy sandwich. Yeah. It's funny why we fold them over instead of... Your daddy makes it a big sandwich. Sometimes I just fold over too. Instead of a big sandwich and cut it in half. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what's the why, why I go to I mean what's the point? I don't know. If you're making two and folding them, just it's the same as I having know. one put I'm together and then I'm the cutting in half thing is another thing that I ain't never, never I mean ain't nothing wrong with it but and you've you gotta eat be, and all of it anyway. Why is it gotta be, be cut it's half? really special is if you cut it diagonally. Then it's, it makes it taste better. Oh, Super fancy. Yeah. I don't get it. Especially peanut butter and jelly makes it taste better if you cut it diagonally. I cut a grilled cheese diagonally. <laughs> You didn't use your thing today. I did. I nailed on it over there. Huh? Used did you it. say you nailed on it? I said I knelt on it. <laughs> oh, knelt? Knelt. I heard nailed. I heard I nailed on it. Well, <laughs> that's my accent coming nailed? out. Nailed? I don't, I don't even know about that. That's what I said, nailed. I'd say nailed. I don't think that's right either. No, it's nailed. 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 I nailed I on nailed it. That's what I'd right. say. I don't know, but I said nailed. I nailed on it. That's my accent coming out. I'm gonna buy me one of them. Yeah. You we'll probably do it at, use it at work a lot when you're on your knees. We've got one of those at work. Oh, do you? We bought them when we had to do a, a big floor. Yeah. But I want to buy it and 
cut it and make it a make a tree stand seat. Oh, uh, it's pretty comfortable. It'll be good for that. Yeah. It was real firm when I was knelt on it. Kneeling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes your knees, it's a whole lot easier on your knees. Yeah. We need to get one of those for when we have to Especially give all of the bath. Older knees. Yeah, I agree. See yeah. the big spider up there? I was going to ask one of y'all. I noticed it about five minutes ago, and I was going to wait and say, oh, does I anyone see it? See it? Yeah, I see it. Got its legs spread. That's a dangerous oh. place to live. Yeah. For an insect is on for, a chicken house. Yeah, for the chickens. I don't like it. It's creepy. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. I won't be checking eggs for a while. Matt was pointing out to us the tomato plants in this part of the bed, or kind of in this first bed where we put the Cherokee purple. They're already this end is already in the shade, and they've already perked up. So the others that kind of look pitiful, pitiful right now, by in the morning, they should perk up overnight too. Of course, we'll give them a good water. They'll straighten out, won't they? Oh yeah. Yeah, they are larger than they usually are when we put them out. Yeah, yeah, they should have been out. Should have been out a while ago. Yeah. Of course, yep. back when we started them, we didn't know all the things we've been going through was going to happen. No. And they'll still, still do okay. Just give it that longer part. It'll just give more room for. But I have to sneeze. Bless you. Now you'll never sneeze. <laughs> oh, bless you. It'll give more room for roots to start growing. Mm -hmm. So in the long run, maybe it'll be good that they are that big. Either way, it is what it is, right? Yeah, I need to work out. Oh yeah. Well, they've already these on this, like you were showing us, already straightened up. Once the sun goes down and get some water overnight. Well, we appreciate you spending the day with us while we finally got our tomatoes and peppers in the ground. Feels really good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And feel good not having to water them in the greenhouse every day. Sometimes I think we've watered them twice a day. When they get that big, they just suck up so much water, mm -hmm. especially because they were in that small little cup. So that'll, that'll be really nice too. And we hope you continue to come along with us this year as we make a garden here in the mountains of Appalachia to feed our family. Yeah, I wanted to know if y'all noticed that spider. I noticed it and then I was like, oh no. I would have never seen it. It kind of looks like a knot, like that knot hole over Except there. for its gigantic creepazoid legs, Lord, legs. I can't look at it no more. I don't care if it's up there as long as it's not on the door when well, you open I, I'm it. I'm telling you, when I open them doors, I swing them out and stand back and look because <laughs> yeah. I have been scared too yeah, many times. You open the door to get the eggs and there's just a big one right there. I can't. That scares me. There's not anything else but it's insects with legs that are too big. I just can't do it. I don't care about them. I used to not like spiders, but I don't care. But the, what I don't like, you know, is the scurrying of mice and rats i can't stand that does not bother me at all snakes don't bother me no snakes don't rats. bother me either but nothing but else but rats there's... and mice is what i don't like yeah and it's funny though because paul and steve are like that too i know ben said what ha were y'all yeah. scarred as I, children I was you that did too. somebody had, like put rats on you or y'all had some kind of shared experience yeah i know because we all three don't like them i was like no not that i remember I mean, rats are gross, but they don't like. Oh, they're freak so me out. scurrying though. But then I think squirrels are cute, and they kind of scurry. Yeah. Scurry. There ain't a whole lot of difference between a rat and a squirrel. I know that's what I'm saying. It makes no sense, but I can't stand the rats. When I was little, I don't remember how little I was, but in in Murphy, about where I have to ask Granny, but in my memory, it's about where the black and white market place is. Yeah. But it was downstairs. You went between. You went in one of those buildings, and you went now went downstairs now one of those buildings was uh super d and it, all the toys were downstairs but it wasn't that one it was like you went down this little alleyway downstairs though and there's a t-shirt factory is why what hmm. it was but aileen worked in there and we went in there to see aileen or maybe we just went to buy i don't know buy clothes but anyway i got some t-shirts while i was in there and one of them, I can still remember that shirt till today, probably because of my fear of the rats, <laughs> was like a red t-shirt and it had this you remember those um uh, it was almost like stickers on t-shirts in the 70s like and you know they were how they felt you remember mm -hmm. those anyway it was right here and it was a like a like a rat like 
it was like a pack rat. That's what it said. It said I'm a pack rat or something. So it had all kinds of I'm stuff all around you it. it. I did. I wore it. Yeah. I can't remember what other ones I got, but Aline worked in there. I'll have to ask Granny where it was at. I could ask Aline if she yeah. remembers where she worked. Yeah. Tell me where it's at. But it was in town somewhere. Hmm. When I was real little, on the opposite side of the road, upstairs in those buildings, one of those buildings, Dr. Garrison's office was there. And then he moved to the hospital, like where Dr. Thompson is now. Hmm. But, and that's where I, I went to see him there, too. I think when he was in town, I just went one time with Steve when he had to go. I was real little. Hmm. But then he moved to the hospital, and that's where I went. Did you ever hmm. see Dr. Garrison since you've been out here? I mean, when you first moved out here, he was still the dentist there. Seems like you broke a tooth or something and had to go to him. I don't know. I, I had to get him to go to see you or something. But he retired anyway. I can't remember about that far. <laughs> that makes me feel good because I don't remember much stuff and I think I'm losing it. But if you don't even remember that. We've been married 47 years. How do you expect me to remember that We've far not by? been married 47 years. You know, you've been married 30, have you? Well, this year be 29 or 30. 29 or 20. 29, right? Yeah. Me and Daddy don't know. We don't know. We got married in 94. 29 years of uh, wedded bliss. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, I've only been sure. married a year. Yeah. We all got ways to catch up with us. 28 years. <laughs> That's a long time. It goes by in a hurry. I'm sure it does. I hardly It does. Like, in one way, it does seem like. Like not that it's a burden or nothing, but that it's been 47 years because we've just never, we've always known each other kind of deal. But then in another way, it seems like it was just, you know, last year or something. You Except then you look like at the house and two <laughs> two grown daughters, you're like, well, yeah. no, it wasn't. It's been a while. You know what makes it go real fast, Corey? When you spend all your time gardening. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning, Just we did. In, blur. in the beginning, we could only help Pap because we had no garden area. Mm. Had little ledges here and there. Well, I miss that big garden down there. I do too. It was a whole lot of work, but my goodness, it made it made some food. Oh goodness, the corn and the mat. There's just nowhere as magical as I think. A, I think a bean patch is pretty magical too. Mm. But a cornfield, oh, if you get down in there in the corn, I mean not the commercial ones where they spray right. and kill it yeah. all but one like ours like yeah. paps where you just weed up the weeds are just by that time by the time you're harvesting corn the weeds are knee, knee deep and yeah. you've got morning glories going up the and you walk between the rows you've, you've been through there several times and the weeds is mashed and yeah. matted down yeah and, and the uh, when the corn's tossing and you hear the bees, mm -hmm. that's just one of the most get, amazing sounds. Yeah, you get inside the corn like that yeah. and it's just a continuous buzz yeah, that don't I stop. Yeah, I just love it. Yeah, I love it, love it, love it. I just take my chair down there and sit, and just sit there and listen and admire all the green, the stalks. Corn, I think a corn stalk is really pretty oh, when it's yeah, growing. With its big waving kind of leaves, fodder. Mm -hmm. I've had two people ask me in the last day, it, I think it, it must have been in the Alex Stewart, in some book, I can't remember now which book it is I'm reading, but I said fodder, and so they're saying, what is fodder? What is that? Having to explain. Shocks of fodder. All right, I guess we better go in and figure out if it's going to be steak or eggs or what. we got to get all that stuff picked up and help Corey get it loaded. And yeah. Maybe her dog won't mangle it between here and her house. Oh, put it in the trunk. And she sits up oh, front like it. a princess. Yeah, she does. Oh, she sits up there like. Out. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my car. She likes to look out the windows. She barks at the cows or whines at them. Well, sometimes she whines at them if they make a lot of movement and she notices them. She don't miss nothing. If she sees a squirrel on the side of the road, another dog, a mm -hmm. person, she goes wild. Okay, where's thumbnail. all the... Thumbnail. Oh, yeah, thumbnail, Corey. Something. Just me. No one else. That's just you. <laughs> huh? 
What? I go out, stick your head in my mm. Well, the last yeah. one you did like that was a big hit, so maybe you should. Oh, yeah. I think I'm wearing the same shirt as last time. Yeah. Yeah. I never I'll change my clothes. clothes in two <laughs> <laughs> I have the same three outfits, and that's all I wear. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong place, sorry. What are you supposed to be looking at? The, the Into the abyss. I was looking at the chickens. <laughs> <laughs>